Now I'm going to talk a little bit uh, uh, about integrated biophilia, which Dan Sloan, uh, land use attorney, talked about last night. Uh, so uh, Dan grew up on the, in the Gulf of Mexico. I did not. So this slide is more difficult for me. Who's been to the Gulf of Mexico? OK. Well, then you can imagine it when I say that uh, you're bathed in sunlight. Uh, there's a lovely breeze coming off the water. The pelicans are flying by. And you get a feeling of well-being and a feeling even of confidence and ability to solve problems. And this comes from connection to nature. And everybody knows this. We're, we're hardwired to experience this in a positive way. So biophilia basically says this is an, an important part of who we are. And the more the city gives the opportunity to connect with nature, uh, the better we're going to feel. Uh, interesting thing, uh, it, we know that this is true because there's already a premium for uh, having a view onto a park or onto the sea and so on. Um, but the biodiversity component is often overlooked. It's not enough to plant a few trees and have some grass. What you really want to do is have multiple layers of cover that will bring back the birds and the bees, essentially. The, the more plant life and animal life we have, the richer it's going to be. And it's hard to achieve uh, just in a park. Uh, it's, it works better in a, a natural corridor that strings parks together. Um, and there are some opportunities uh, to do that, obviously, you know, within, within reasonable distance of, of Lee Highway and even in some places along it. These are the many benefits of, of biophilia, which uh, Dan Sloan used to present, you know, uh, 10 years ago. He said, well, the hypothesis is that biophilia has all these benefits. And since then, there's been a lot of research and essentially they are all documented. This is what you get with biophilia. Historically, we approached our landscapes a little bit like junk food. We liked it ex inexpensive, convenient, filling, but not necessarily nutritious. And the nutritious part is really about the biodiversity and the extent to which uh, you, you can support uh, life of flora and fauna. This is a subject which Arlington County is well versed in, has been producing original content at least since 2016. Uh, There's some great uh, reports uh, online. Uh, there's some good work done by uh, the architects Terabin Bright Green and some of the uh, professors at UVA. So I would invite you to uh, consider going online to check that out. This is Dan's recipe for how to do it, essentially, and it emphasizes thinking in clusters, uh, which makes sense when you're talking about uh, the flora and the fauna all in one place and creating a real natural environment, not just a, a sort of park playground type approach. Layering purposes, you know, twofers, if you buy a tree, don't just buy a tree that provides shade, buy, buy one that will, uh, you know, be inviting to the birds and the bees in the neighborhood. Choose plants that are native, don't use fertilizers. These are all, you know, key aspects of what makes a successful uh, natural environment.